What's going on everyone? This is Kunal. And today, before I begin my video talking about privacy features in cryptocurrency, you may have noticed that we're using a different website for our coin market aggregation. And so coin market cap moved to the left to the left, in comes coin gecko. And I really personally like coin gecko. One of the main reasons is because it's dynamic, meaning the price they show the updated price as it's happening. So this isn't just a static number that you would have to refresh to see the new price. It updates automatically. And the other thing I notice is that they have um, this total percentage over here. It's, it's kind of like a total score, cumulative score based on market cap and developers and the team and all of the other attributes that would one would have. And it's really a, a, an amazing thing to be listed here for you guys to see and you can see as the, the the top coins have the best scores and of course it has the last seven days um on the charts it has instead of the word volume they just put the word liquidity and and it can be used to measure market share to a respect and it does help to legit show which coins are the most legitimate so of course bitcoin is on top and then of course you have market cap the 24 hour percentage and of course the price and the coin name and its ranking and you can switch here from USD to any other um, you know, cur uh, currency or medium, me medium of value or uh, medium of exchange value that you want. Not just, uh, just USD. You can change it around. You can see the market cap over here. You can see the 24 uh, volume over here. If you click on them, you can, you will be able to see uh, the information that you would want to see. Uh, there's, there's some more, few more coins listed here than the other site. And there's a few less exchanges listed here than the other side. So they're trying to uh, legitimize certain things and uh, add, make certain things, uh, uh, you know, show you certain things and take away other things that they feel is not as legitimate. And um, that's what I really like about CoinGecko. They have, of course, the coins. They have an ICO page as well. And so we're going to be using CoinGecko from now on. So I really hope that you guys enjoy it. I really hope that it's an interesting alternative to the other side. And I really hope that you guys adopt it for yourself and, and hope you really guys really do like it. So having said that, let's move on to our, our privacy subject here. So what are ZK Snarks? So this is the first technology that I'm going to talk about involving privacy and cryptocurrency. So Zcash is the first widespread application of ZK Snarks, which is a novel form of zero knowledge cryptography. And the strong privacy guarantee of Zcash is derived from the fact that the shielded transactions in Zcash can be fully encrypted on the blockchain, yet still be verified as valid under the network's consensus rules by using ZK Snarks proofs. So if you look at an average Bitcoin transaction, um, there has to be a level of transparency in order to ensure that um, the every single transaction is legit now that's fine you want to ensure that transactions are legit but you give up privacy in that process so by using the zk snark proofs you can shield transactions and be verified as valid under the network's consensus so it's a really interesting technology the acronym zk snark stands for zero knowledge succinct non-interactive argument of knowledge and refers to a proof construction where one can prove possession of certain information example a secret key without revealing that information and without any interaction between the prover and the verifier. Zero knowledge proofs allow one party, the prover, to prove to another, the verifier, that a statement is true, without revealing any information beyond the validity of the statement itself. For example, given the hash of a random number, the prover could convince the verifier that there indeed exists a number with this hash value without revealing what it is. So that's just a, you can go read the rest for yourself, but this is just an, a, a good, um, uh, put together a piece of, of writing here talking about ZK Snarks and it's on the Zcash website uh, that you guys that I'll link for you guys uh, below. The next thing is Crypto Note coins. So Crypto Note is an application layer protocol that powers several de several decentralized privacy oriented digital currencies. So the key features of Crypto Note are anonymous transactions and ring signatures, double spending protection, egalitarian proof of work, and adaptive network limits. And then you, you have this graph over here that gives you a little bit of an illustration of what it is. So now let's take a look at some of the top crypto node currencies. There are many on this list here on this website, but I'm going to focus on two of them, right? That, that are the big ones, Bitcoin and Monero. So first on Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the first crypto node based currency, which has re reached mass adoption successfully. Bitcoin also possesses one of the largest ecosystems. 
Bytecoin has been originally created in close cooperation with CryptoNode team. It is the first implementation of CryptoNode technology, and they talk about to this day Bytecoin developers have been making significant contributions to the development of CryptoNode technology. So that's Bytecoin for you guys. And then, of course, Monero, previously known as BitMonero, is one of the first crypto node coins. It utilizes the same value every crypto node coin does. Privacy, decentralization, and fungibility. Monero development is community driven based on donations and with a focus on decentralization and scalability. So let's take a look quickly and try to understand what crypto node cryptocurrencies are, what, what these privacy, specific privacy coins are. So privacy in, in cryptocurrency just means the amount of coins you own send and receive are not observable traceable nor linkable by way of transaction history on the blockchain so the amount of coins you own send and receive those three parts are are private they're not observable traceable or linkable that's the main key fee feature of privacy coins and if you look at monero here are the key components the key uh uh, features of Monero. So one is stealth addresses. So a recipient is able to receive multiple payments through a single address while at the same time ensuring there are no links on the blockchain between their address and anybody else's address. This is made possible by stealth addresses where a random one-time address is automatically created for each transaction being made by the sender. In other words, all payments sent to the recipient are routed to unique addresses on the blockchain which in turn prevents any links uh, masking the recipient and providing no way to see if anyone else has sent coins to the, to the recipient. While stealth addresses prevent linkability on the blockchain, when and where the coins are then moved by the recipient is able to be traced by the original sender of the coins by identifying outputs on the blockchain. So next thing is they talk about is ring signatures. With ring signatures, outputs are masked so the sender is not able to tell if it's their coin that are then being moved by the recipient, ultimately providing untraceability. So what are ring confidential transactions or ring CT? So on January 2016, Monero implemented ring confidential transactions, including an improved version of ring signatures and combining with the improvements, confidential transactions, a cryptographic tool that conceals the amount being transacted while still allowing for the network to verify the amount without having to reveal any actual details. Confidential transactions include a cryptographic proof that the sum of the input amounts is the same as the sum of the output amounts without revealing the actual numbers. So this is what Mon the technology that Monero is based on. You can compare it to ZK SNARKs, but um, the stealth addresses and the ring signatures parts is really interesting part of Monero. And the last thing I'm going to mention now is just based on this article that I like that includes what eight top privacy coins, many of which I believe it's, I think we, I believe this is a good list of the top eight pri or so privacy coins, and these are the legitimate ones. So Monero, of course, uh, is on this list. Ring signatures, Ring CT, and Stealth addresses. Zcash through zk snarks, uh, as we talked about before. Dash is a bit different from the previously mentioned coins. So it is an open source peer-to-peer -peer currency. Uh, it includes the option for instant and private transactions. Um, so they developers of ja Dash chose to implement a proof of stake protocol as well to ensure the integrity of their system. However, they still have kind of like a, a proof of work privacy method versus PIVX, which is a proof of stake, which we've talked about on Allcoin Buzz before, uh, which is a proof of stake privacy coin. So PIVX users are allowed to run master nodes, which help keep the network running smoothly. And then PIVX has more of its to available token supply tied up in various master nodes. And it supports both private and instant transactions. Transactions can be made completely anonymous, preventing discovery of a person's real-world identity by analyzing the blockchain. And then there's others on this list as well, like Navcoin, and then Cloakcoin, and then Enigma, uh, which uh, we've spoken of on our channel before, Deep Onion. And so you got, I'll link this below so you guys can take a full dive into this uh, article. But the point being is that there are many top cryptocurrency coins, and many, and we've discussed some of the key uh, features that privacy features that these coins are bringing to the table. So when we're talking about a world where privacy seems to be uh, less and less of a reality, we need to find a way to bring it back. And these coins are going to help us bring back it, it, when we get to an internet of value and everything's going to be done through financial transactions on the blockchain. We need a level of privacy to to help keep people's information, you know, like sending and receiving transactions and wallets uh, information private. So this is definitely going to help with that. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you can follow us on our website at allcoinbuzz.io and where we talk about 
what's happening recently. Of course, we're on top of it. So what caused VeChain's 50% rise in the past days? We talked about that. Um, you guys can, of course, follow us on Twitter, uh, where we have uh, about 77,000 followers. Uh, you can also follow um, uh, All Coin Buzz ladies at abuzz underscore ladies, where they put their latest videos up. And finally, last but not least, uh, please do like this video. And if you choose ch ch to do so, please do subscribe to our channel where we have over 209,000 subscribers. So thank you very much, guys, and have a great day.